Yo, what's up everyone? It's Rail of Rail Beats coming to you live with a Machine Masters tutorial. Uh, this is basically going to be touching on uh, plugins inside of Machine. If you've been uh, previously having issues with your plugins, such as crashing or you don't know why it's not showing up in Machine, this is just going to touch on you know how to get rid of those glitches, crashes, and uh, how to get them uh, to operate a machine properly. Uh, so the first thing that uh, that I'm going to touch on is uh, the crashing part with it. So go ahead and figure out what, where your plugins are, uh, and open them individually, either in standalone mode or if there's an if there's another way that you can do this where with all of them, then um, I, I haven't figured it out yet. But I just open them up in standalone mode uh, on a Mac. You would just get the info on them. And once you get the info, you'll see this little box right under label. It says open in 32-bit mode. I open each individual plugin that I had and uh, I unchecked. It was checked previously, so I just unchecked all of them. And then I open it up in a standalone mode. And uh, after I open it up in standalone mode, I just close it right back out. And now everything works perfectly like a uh, core 2 core 2 is is my favorite engine my little favorite sound engine because it got so many sounds and so many possibilities i guess they discontinued like updates or whatever on core 2 but nonetheless i'm gonna maximize the possibilities with this thing because it's it's just so much you can do with it um uh, nonetheless when i whenever i would open it it would it would just continue to load and it wouldn't do anything for me. Now, it's uh, program runs flawlessly. All right, next thing. Once you've gotten all your plugins uh, on a Mac in 64-bit in, in mode, uncheck all the 32 bits so they'll be in 64. Uh, then we're going to go to the next step, which is uh, figuring out how to get all of your plugins into machine and operate them properly. Go to your preferences and machine and go to plugins. And in your locations, in your preferences, what you're going to see is the location of all of your plugins. Uh, and basically, all of mine are on my, uh, on my hard, Macintosh hard drive. They're not on an external drive, they're not on a desktop or anything like that. But for training purposes, this is what I'm going to do. If you experiencing a problem with getting a plug-in into machine what I want you to do is uh, go to wherever you downloaded that plug-in and create a plug-ins folder on your desktop and label it plug-ins once you uh, uh, downloaded that whatever uh, plug-in that you have put all of those components in this plug-ins folder on your desktop all right and then go back into a uh, machine and then um, Go to your preferences and add. You want to go to your plugins and locations, and then you want to add. Once you uh, put it in that plugins folder, you'll have a drop down menu, and you'll see all all of your plugins in there. Uh, for training purposes, I don't have anything in there, but uh, if once you get your plugins in there, you should see them. And just select them, and then choose it. And then once you choose it, it'll show up in your locations. And then all you have to do is rescan. And once you rescan, it'll pick that plugin up. And um, after that plugin is picked up, every time you open up machine, it'll it should automatically rescan. And I'll show you here in the manager. Scan at startup, and that's what it'll do every time. Now, the next thing that you want to do is once you once you uh, down uh, scan that plugin into machine it might not be checked in your managers folder so what you're gonna do is just ch check mark it so that it'll uh, be able to rescan into it so just go ahead and rescan again and what it'll do is it'll update it in your manager also and uh, every time you open up machine um, you should be able to uh, get your plug in by going to the drop down first drop down uh, on your engine on your sound module uh, and go to plugins folder and you should see all all of your uh, plugins from there 
So um, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys have any uh, questions, just go ahead and uh, comment. Uh, put it in the comments and I'll answer it within an hour or if I'm not at work then I'll, I'll answer it immediately. Uh, you can also email me at realbeatsboy at gmail.com and don't forget to go to machinemasters.com and sign up for the mailing list. Peace out.